In question 3, we have to complete this table of products that you see here. Each product in the table is calculated by taking the first monomial from the topmost row and the second monomial from the leftmost column. For example, if you take 2x as your first monomial from the topmost row and 2x as your second monomial from the leftmost column, the product you get is 4x square, which is already mentioned in this cell because 2 into 2 is 4 and x into x is x square. Similarly, if you take 3x square as your first monomial from the topmost row and minus 5y as your second monomial from the leftmost column, the product that you get is minus 15x square y because 3 into minus 5 is minus 15 and x square into y is x square y. Now we have to fill up all the other cells of this table in a similar manner. And because there are many cells to be filled, I won't write out the detailed calculation for each case. Instead, for each combination of monomials, I will simply observe the product of the coefficients and the product of the algebraic factors and write the overall product accordingly. The other thing we note is that the sequence of monomials in the topmost row 2x minus 5y, 3x square and so on is the same as the sequence of monomials in the leftmost column which is also 2x minus 5y, 3x square and so on. This means that many products occur twice in the table. For example, uh, if you take minus 5y as your first monomial and 3x square as your second monomial, uh, then the product you will get will be the same as if you take 3x square as your first monomial and minus 5y as your second monomial. And that product we have already calculated as minus 15x square y. So the product of minus 5y into 3x square, this we can write directly just by observing this product. Uh, we can write fill this cell here also as minus 15x square y. Okay, so we can just observe that these two products will be the same and uh, fill this cell directly. So in a similar man manner, we can fill a lot of the other cells in the table directly. Okay, now let's start off by filling the cells and as I fill each cell, make sure you're observing the multipliers coming from the topmost row and the leftmost column. Okay, so let's come to this cell here. Uh, I'm just highlighting this cell here, which is 2x into minus 5y. So this will be uh, 2x into minus 5y will be minus 10xy. And the same product will go here also in this cell minus 10xy because this is minus 5y into 2x. Now let's come to uh, this cell here, which is 2x into 3x square. This product will be 6x cube because 2 into 3 is 6 and x into x square is x cube. And the same product will go here also 3x square into 2x. So this will also be 6x cube. Okay, now let's come to this cell here, which is 2x into minus 4xy. So this will be minus 8x square y, because 2 into minus 4 is minus 8, uh, and x into xy is x square y. And the same product will go here also, minus 4xy into 2x. So this will be minus 8x square y. Okay, then we come here to this cell. Uh, this cell will be 2x into 7x square y. So 2 into 7 is 14. So we get 14 into x into x square y will become x cube y because x is being repeated thrice. And the same product will come here also 7x square y into 2x. So this will be 14x cube y. And then finally we come to this last cell of the first column which is 2x into minus 9x square y square. So this will be 2 into minus 9 will be minus 18 and we have x into x square y square. So that's x cube y square and the same product will go in this cell. Okay, and it, uh, this cell also we can fill with minus 18 x cube y square. Okay, now we come to the column of minus 5y. So the first cell we've already filled. The second cell, which is this cell here, 
is minus 5y into minus 5y. So this will be minus 5 into minus 5 is 25 and y into y is y square. So we will get 25y square. Then we come to this cell here, which is minus 5y into minus 4xy. So minus 5 into minus 4 is 20. So we get 20 as the coefficient and y into xy will be xy square. Okay, so we get 20 xy square and the same value will go in this cell also, which is again minus 4xy into minus 5y. So here also we can put 20 xy square. Okay, next we come to this cell, which is minus 5y into 7x square y. So minus 5 into 7 is minus 35. So we write minus 35 as the coefficient. And then we have y into x square y. That will be x square y square. x square y square. So this is what we put in this cell. Minus 35 x square y square. And the same thing will go in this cell also. 7 x square y into minus 5 y. This will be uh, minus 35 x square y square all right and now we come to this cell which is minus 5y into minus 9 x square y square so minus 5 into minus 9 is 45 so we get 45 as the coefficient and then y into x square y square is x square y cube so we get 45 x square y cube and the same value will go in this cell um, as you can observe the product is the same so we, we will get 45 x square y cube. Okay, now let's come to the column of 3 x square. So if I come to this cell, this cell is 3 x square into 3 x square. That will be 9 x to the power 4 because 3 into 3 is 9 and x square into x square is x to the power 4. Then we come to this cell which is 3 x square into minus 4 x y. So 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 and x square into xy will be x cube y. Okay, and the same product will go here also because this is the same product minus 4xy into 3x square. So this will be minus 12 x cube y as well. All right, now we come to this cell which is 3x square into 7x square y. 3 into 7 is 21, so coefficient is 21 and x square into x square y will be x to the power 4 times y. So this is what we put in this cell and the same thing will go in this cell also this, because it's the same product. So we will get 21 x to the power 4 and y. And then we come to this cell which will be 3x square into minus 9 x square y square. So 3 into minus 9 is minus 27. So coefficient is minus 27. And then we get x square into x square y square. So we will get x to the power 4 into y square. And the same product we will get uh, here also in this cell also minus 9 x square y square into 3 x square. So we write minus 27 x to the power 4 y square in this cell as well. Okay, now we come to the column of minus 4xy and we come to this cell which is minus 4xy into minus 4xy. Uh, this will be minus 4 into minus 4 is 16 and xy into xy will be x square y square. Okay, then we come to this cell which is minus 4xy into 7x square y. So minus 4 into 7 is minus 28 and xy into x square y will be x cube y square. So make sure you understand this x cube y square is what we will put here. And the same thing will go in this cell also in this cell uh, in which we will put minus 28 x cube y square here as well. Okay, then we come to this cell which is minus 4 xy into minus 9 x square y square minus 4 into minus 9 is 36 so we put 36 as the coefficient and xy into x square y square will be x cube y cube and the same thing will go in this cell also okay because this cell has the same product so we will put uh, 36 x cube y cube here as well 
then we come to the column of 7x square y uh, in which this cell we start off with this cell which is unfilled which is 7x square y into 7x square y 7 into 7 is 49 and x square y into x square y will be x to the power 4 into y square okay then we come to this cell uh, which is 7x square y into minus 9x square y square so 7 into minus 9 is minus 63 so the coefficient is minus 63 and then you have x square y into x square y square so you get four repetitions of y uh, of x so x to the power 4 and you get three repetitions of y so y cube so you get minus 63 x to the 4 y cube and the same thing will go in this cell also so in this cell also we will put minus 63 x to the power 4 y cube and finally the last cell that's unfilled is this cell which is minus 9 x square y square into minus 9 x square y square minus 9 into minus 9 is 81 and x square y square into x square y square will be x to the power 4 y to the power 4 so this is how we can fill up all these cells uh, i don't know if you uh, were able to spot the pattern that the terms along the diagonal so let me highlight the diagonal uh, for you the diagonal is basically this line so the terms along the diagonals 4x square 25y square 9x to the 4 16x square y square 49x to the power 4 y square and finally 81x to the power 4 y to the power 4 these terms occurred only once in the table but all the other terms occurred twice once above the diagonal and once below the diagonal so this was an interesting pattern in this question so with this we have completed question number three to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers